about uh, Taylor theorem for two variables. Uh, Taylor theorem for one variable already we gone through with that. Uh, what is that? Uh, that is uh, f of a plus h is equal to f x. You can write a plus h. If we are going to expand about a point a in powers of h, then value is f a plus h f dash a plus h square by factorial 2 f double dash a and so on. So this is a Taylor theorem for one variable. Similarly, we can define for Taylor variables for two variables. What is that? Always they will give one function f x y. If we are going to expand about a point a comma b and in powers of h and k, very important, about a point a comma b and in powers of h and k then it is equal to f of f at a b plus h f x plus k f y plus h square f x x plus 2 h k f x y plus k square f y y plus z this is about a point a comma b this is also at a comma b so this is a Taylor expansion about a comma b in powers of h and k so always remember for Taylor theorem First of all, you have to find out point about which we are going to expand. If point not given, so it means we have to expand about origin. So always a comma b you have to find out first. And then in which power they are asking. If they are not asking about any power, it means that they are going to ask you about uh, expand in terms of x and y, in powers of x and y. So, h value and k value. So, our main work is, what is x value? x is equal to a plus h and y is equal to b plus k. So always function they will give. Once they will give a function, either they will give A and B, means point at which about which we are going to expand, or they will give H and K. Expand in powers of this. So if they will give A and B, then find out H and K. If they will give H and K, then find out A and B x and y are fixed so understand always function given if they will give a and b then find out h and k if they will give h and k find out a and b once you got this all values then just put in this formula this is very easy and uh, once you put it don't simplify just put the values here and over that is the expansion for example suppose a question is expand e to the power x cos y in powers of x and y so solution what is fxy fxy is e to the power x cos y in powers of x and y 
means h value given x k value given y h and k given it means we are going to calculate a and z value because what is x x is equal to a plus h and what is y y is equal to b plus k so h value given how much x so what is a value x x cancel a value zero similarly y is equal to b k means y so what is b value zero so a zero b zero point we got a b h value x k value y and f x y given this now what is your second step second step means just find out derivatives partial derivatives and put the value so here what is required f x y given this so f at a comma b what is the value means f at 0 comma 0 at 0 0 what is the value because f a b required so if it got 0 cos 0 means 1 now what is second required f x at a comma b so first find out f x at a comma b what is f x f x means del of over del x differentiate with respect to x partially what we get it will for x cos y so fx at a comma b again one what is fy differentiate with respect to y so it will for x cos y differentiation minus sin y so fy at 0 0 what is the value sin 0 is 0 now what is fxy fxy means differentiation of this uh, fx with respect to y so fx we got e to the power x cos y again we have to differentiate with respect to y so what we get e to the power x sin y so fxy at 0 0 What is the value? Zero. Just put in this formula. So f a b f x y means e to the power x cos y. F a b value f zero zero value how much? One. What is h? H is equal to x. What is f x? F x is one. What is k? Y. What is f y? f y zero plus h square means x square. Yup, x x. Yup, x x uh, value is do not calculate it. What is f of x? Again, one only. Two h k. So two x y. What is f y x y value? That is zero. K square means y square f y y f y we calculated again when you differentiate so sin y becomes cos y so minus e to the power x cos y the so value is minus y so into minus y and so on so this is the expansion of e to the power x cos y so hope you understand this one this one also we can write in this way f a comma b this is h del f over del x Plus k del f over del y at a comma b plus at a del f over a one by two fifth row. Sorry, one by two fifth row. I forget. So please uh, put uh, one by two fifth row. At a del f over del x plus k del f over del y whole square and a one by two fifth row. Then one by three factorial h del f over del x plus k del f over del y cube and so on. So 
Sorry, I forget uh, in last example you to put one by two factorial. Yeah. So please put that one. So uh, when you uh, open a square, so h is square, del f over del x is square means not a square. It's an operator. So it will operate two times. So it becomes del square f del x square plus k square del square f del y square plus two times h k del square f del x del y. And similarly you open q. So now I will do one more question. Suppose uh, someone ask you uh, uh, x prime uh, x square minus x y plus y square in powers of x minus 1 and y plus 2. So, solution. Again, power is given means h given. What is h value? x minus 1. What is k value? y plus 2. So, because x is equal to a plus h. So, what is a plus h value? x minus 1. xx cancel. a value becomes 1. Similarly, k value how much? y plus 2 oh. uh, y is equal to b plus k uh, y is equal to what is k y plus 2 y by cancel b value is minus 2 the point we got 1 and minus 2 what is fxy x square minus x y plus y square. Now see h we got x k we have a we have b we have. We have to calculate all derivatives at which point 1 comma minus 2. Yes calculate. So what is f at 1 comma minus 2? x value 1 y value minus 2. So 1 plus 2 plus 4. Seven. What is fx? 2x minus y. So what is fx at 1 comma minus 2? x value 1, y value minus 2 means 4. What is fy? fy is minus x plus 2y. So fy at 1 comma minus 2? minus 1, minus 2, minus 5. What is fxx? Differentiate again, it is 2. What is FYY? It's 2. What is FXY? All the FX we have differentiate with respect to Y, that is minus 1, and so on. Just that much required. So, what is the formula? Uh, F of XY means X square minus XY plus Y square is equal to FAB. What is the value? 7 plus h. What is h? x minus 1 fx. What is fx? 4 plus k. k how much? y plus 2 fy. How much? minus 5 plus h square. h square means x minus 1 square. fx x means 2 plus 2hk. Two 2x two minus 1 y plus 2 plus k square. k square means uh, y plus 2 square f y means 2 and so on. A are 1 by 2 square. This is the answer. So uh, in this way we can uh, do every question. It's very simple. Whatever f x y given, keep it. Find out a and b if h and k given. If h and k given, find out a and b. Using which formula? x is equal to a plus h and y is equal to b plus k. Once you got all values, just put in formula. Means find out all derivatives with the f, x, y also. At which point? a comma b. Find out the values and put the in formula. You will get the answer easily. So here just required partial differentiation. If you know partial differentiation, you can do easily. So thank you.